Today I'm baking the most simple sourdough bread. For this recipe all you need is sourdough starter, flour, salt, water and an oven. Here I'm preparing the sourdough starter. This is a liquid sourdough made with 50 gram sourdough, 50 gram water and 50 gram flour. Mix it for about 1 minute and then put it in a jar. A healthy sourdough should prove 3 to 4 times the original volume and should take 6 to 8 hours to do so. Cover the jar with a towel or some paper. This is how you feed the sourdough starter. Repeat this operation 3 times before to start the bread. This is how it will look like after 8 hours. Now it's time to make the bread. Start with 200 g of water, 10 g of salt and mix to dissolve. Add 100 g of sourdough starter and mix till it is completely melted. Now 300 g of flour. I didn't use any specific flour, this is a common bread flour. Stir with a spoon and then scrap the border of the bowl with a spatula. Place the dough on the table and then start mixing with your hand till the flour will absorb all the water. Just make sure there is no dry flour left. Place the dough back on the bowl and cover. Let it rest for one hour. This operation is called autolysis. It is a technique that will encourage enzymes to start gluten development. After one hour the dough will change the texture, as you can see here. Now I do a very simple fold. Spread the dough. Fold it one and two times. Then roll it together. And then I roll it to obtain a bowl. Don't use any flour even if it is a bit sticky. Just sprinkle your hand and the table surface with some water. Cover and proof for around 3 hours at room temperature. After 3 hours, remove the dough gently and use water as before. As you can see there are some nice bubbles already formed, so we have to be careful not to break them. Here I do the same fold as before, very simple one. Finally has arrived the time to use flour. Sprinkle some flour on the banetton and on the table. Using some extra water pinch the edge of the dough to seal it. This will help to keep the shape and the structure of the bread. Make sure to coat the dough with flour. Now final proof for one more hour. Don't need to be double in volume, 
you still want the sourdough to be active when you start cooking. Now twist the basket and remove the flour. Score with a blade or with a sharp knife in this way. The cut should be around 1 cm and a half. Time to bake. I start with the oven at 240 degrees Celsius for the first 20 minutes and then I cover with a bowl, putting ice to create a nice steam in the chamber. Close the door and you will have a perfect ambience for the oven spring. After 20 minutes, remove the bowl, decrease the temperature at 190 degrees Celsius and bake for an additional 20 to 30 minutes more, depending on the way you like the color to be. And here finally we have our bread. Cool it down and then it will be ready for the cut. Making sourdough bread is always surprising. You know when you start, but you will never know the final result.